All right. Hello, everyone, and uh, welcome. Uh, in this video, I would like to show you how I use the this one, EP133, the new teenage engineering sampler, with uh, Logic as a MIDI controller. Um, I mean, first of all, I would like to, uh, you know, apologize because I don't really have like a fancy production set up here. So I'm just uh, using my phone and a little mic to record everything. And it might be not the best experience, but I hope you'll just get the important stuff, right? So anyway, let me just show you what I have here. Here's a device. I have it uh, powered by USB. Uh, the USB is connected to my computer there. Uh, we don't really need to care about the input and the outputs, but basically I'm getting some stuff through my audio interface to sample if I want, and output, I'm getting it back to the audio interface to record if I want. But in this case, we will only focus on MIDI. So I'm going to fire this up. I hope you see stuff here. Okay, amazing, great, cool. Okay. And um, in parallel, I'm going to open a brand new logic project. And here what I'm going to do is basically I'm going to use these four groups as four MIDI channels with which I will be able to control four MIDI tracks on Logic. So how do we do that? First of all, let's create four uh, instrument tracks in uh, Logic. So I'm going to create two drum tracks, let's say drum kit designer. Uh, whatever, let's keep it a normal drum kit. Then I'm going to duplicate this and change here, let's say, to something else. Let's okay, big room is fine, I don't really care at this point, it's just to illustrate. And then obviously, you can set whatever presets you want in your instruments. And then I'm just going to take two software instruments. I really like this one, the UAD one, it's pretty nice. And let's just duplicate that again. So let's just call it base and I'll just call this one lead. Okay, right. So what we have going now is we have four MIDI tracks on uh, instrument tracks in Logic Setup and we have here the KO. Uh, first of all, I would like to synchronize. Uh, I want to make Logic the master in terms of tempo sync and uh, the EP133 slave so when i press play in logic it will press play in uh, this guy here and it will also follow the and the ep133 will also follow the uh tempo of logic so you do that by going into logic settings i think it's audio i might be wrong i have no clue what i'm doing honestly then i think no it's midi then you go to sync or inputs what is it no it's sync and then uh, you click on midi sync project settings excellent yeah this is it here you have to look for EP133. And by the way, I didn't need to install any drivers or whatever. It's just uh, worked. You just connect it and it's fine. I mean, it sees it like that. Make sure clock is selected. Uh, change the clock mode to pattern quantize. So basically it starts, stops on the pattern. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. So what we have going now is we have logic pushing uh, like, you know, start stop information to EP133. And tempo information is also kind of um, synced. So let's say I raise the tempo to one, two, four, five here. Check it. It should be. Let me just give it a try. External. You see, it's telling me that it's synced to the external tempo. Wonderful. Okay, cool. Fantastic. Let's go back to the main thing here. Uh, now, what we want to do is, as I said, convert these guys, these four channels, into four independent uh, MIDI tracks that we can control from here, right? It's quite easy. What I do is basically select a sound, a pad. Just have to select one pad, right? So A, uh, let's go to this one. And what I want here is, um, where is it? I think it was sound edit. Yeah, and you have to go all the way to the MIDI option there. Once you have MIDI option, raise, uh, sorry, turn it to channel one, okay? So now this pad right here is gonna send MIDI signals through MIDI channel one. Let's go back to logic. Let's go to this guy, the drum kit, track one, and make sure that the MIDI port here is set to EP133 and channel is one. I'm just gonna arm it. 
and uh, okay get out of here now that we have that what do i need to do is because we have one pad sending midi signals out we need to make sure that uh, we are in keys mode and not pad mode so just hit this one to which we assigned the midi channel press on keys go down to i think c2 should be fine wherever you have sounds laid out and if you press it you see in uh, logic you already see some fantastic sexy all right that's and we have to do the same thing for channel b c and d right so uh this guy i'm gonna go to yeah then i'm gonna set again this key sound edit mid change it to channel two all right get out of there go to logic uh go to midi settings port 133 channel i th think it was two we said and arm it again and let's uh, give it a try wait again keys make sure we're in keys mode so this guy keys we're in keys we see the little piano there um now what jesus where was i yeah so we're in keys let's make sure the octave is correct right amazing so i'm controlling second one here go back the acoustic drum i think you get the picture right and you have to do the same thing for c and d i'm just going to do it again just quickly for c so uh, this sound sound edit mid make it channel three all right get out of there make sure we're in uh, keys mode wonderful fantastic we go back to logic make sure the midi mapping is correct here ep133 channel is four we're going to get some ungodly very loud buzzing sound i'm sure so let me just try to get something halfway decent here i have no clue whatever i just go with whatever that is and maybe i will just kind of you know lower the volume a tiny bit make sure this is armed and moment do we hear it uh, uh, oh, hmm? for some reason where am i oh we're not getting any sounds why not why not why not let's see maybe it's a setting in here i have no clue but we will figure it out anyway okay okay so what am i doing wrong here base 133 channel 4 actually it's channel 3 because i suck at math so you got it right and then what you can do is basically uh record stuff here i mean you do your arrangement of the midi tracks inside logic here and then when you're ready, you just record the tracks there. So you can sequence stuff here without pushing record in Logic. So it's kind of a different thing. But I mean, you know what else you can do? It like you can just do two MIDI tracks that control things in Logic and the other two are like audio tracks from here and then you can get creative. But anyway, I think um, this, is, this is what I wanted to show you, like how you can use this guy as a MIDI controller, an interesting MIDI controller. There are a couple of limitations, for, exa for example, um, you cannot mute the MIDI tracks, not even with the, I mean, with the fader, if you move it up down, the MIDI signal is still sent. The only way I found that you can kind of semi-mute this is just to lower the velocity of the given pad where the MIDI is sending up, being sent out. But that's a little bit cumbersome, but I mean, whatever, I don't, I don't really care. Um, I don't know. I hope uh, you know there will be some updates in the future to this, and things will become more uh, kind of easier, and you know we'll get more features. So only time will tell. But until then, we can just play around with whatever we have here and do the make the best of it, right? So yeah, that's it. I hope this was kind of helpful. Again, not the best production values, I'm sure, but uh, hope you make the best of it. Thanks a lot, and uh, see you next time.